Right, so here we are. We're not doing any fancy intro. We'll practice that one, get the thumbs down. Right, we are doing 3.13 probability. So we're going to start at the beginning. People do it different in different ways. There's kind of like three parts to it. One of the parts is um, about just basic probability and finding probabilities of things, and one of, and the techniques are the same sort of techniques you've done before. So you've still got the techniques of things like probability trees, contingency tables, all those things you've learned before, but we add an extra one this year, and it's Venn diagram. So we might as well start with that one. Now, you've undoubtedly seen these before used for things, but probably haven't used them mathematically too much. So basically what we have is we have a circle that indicates that within that circle is everything to do with whatever we call that circle. We outline the circles, so the most basic one looks like this. That box is everything, all right? Universal set, everything that exists as far as what we're talking about exists inside that box. One circle could be interesting, not, all right? The only interesting in, in that is that you belong to the circle or you don't belong to the circle, all right? Once we get up to two circles, or in this case this year, you'll be dealing with three circles, more, more than likely, then we're getting into the interesting stuff. So what these are is it's set theory. This is the set of something happening and this is the set of something happening. All right. So we might be talking about the set of people in here that are taking psychology. Hands up. Good. There are two of you. All right. Let's try something else. Uh, biology. How many for biology? Yep. Yeah, go with biology. So we're going to say B is for biology. Right, hands up, keep your hands up, biologists. Okay, who of you does art? No, okay, put them back up again. Who of you does... I want something that you don't all do. English. All right, yes, if you, put, if you do English, put your hand up now. No, just English. Just... Right, good, we're going with that one. So A is for English. Wait, can we go make it? English. So those are going to be our two sets. You belong, everybody in this classroom belongs within this black box. All right. We're going to make it students though, so not me. And you either, you belong in one of these areas. You either take English and biology, take English and not biology, take biology and not maths, um, English, and don't take either of them. Oh boy, that's, who doesn't take either of them? Good stuff. Uh, not that that's a good thing to not take them, but there is people that do not belong as such. So that kind of accounts for everybody in our class. Now, it's, it's good to have it as a topic like that because then we can start to see it. And we're going to go and have a little play in a minute um, a bit around these particular spheres. So that's the three sets. So um, we've got the probability of being... So the notations, so there's notations, how things are written. So the notation is the probability of A, which we don't have, but that's okay. Probability of A is written as P of A. All right, then we could have, and we'll change it to our ones now, the probability of E and the probability of B. Now, that U in there, stands for the union of these two sets. So it's anybody who does English and or biology. Okay, so you can do them both or you can do them one or the other. It's not a you, it's a whoop. <laughs> it's a that. Generally on the, on the computer we use a capital U because it's, otherwise you have to go into all sorts of funny places to find the real symbol. 
All right, so that's what that one means. This one, upside down, all right, stands for intersection. And the intersection is, of course, those people who do both. So remember, this one's or, but it's also and. Okay, so that's the big set. And then we have one more, which is this one. Right, and that dash stands for the complement. That's not Mrs. McCune, you're looking great today. That is the opposite as such. All right, so the complement of E dash would be those people not taking English. Okay, so what is important in this particular unit of work is that when we talk about probabilities, we should always talk about them sensibly. All right, so we now don't talk about boys versus girls for obvious reasons in the world. We talk about boys and not boys. All right. So when we're talking about a, a whole set, it's boys and not boys. To take away any confusion, you're either a boy or you're not a boy. What you are is, is could be interesting, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're a girl. Is it raining? Or is it not raining? There's no foggy ground of it's half raining or it's going to rain in half an hour or any of those sorts of things. It's either raining or it's not raining. Together those things, so A and A dash, always add up to one, the probability of one. Everything is accounted for by this or not this. All right? So what we're going to do is we're going to play colour it in and see if we can identify within our diagram what is actually happening. Done.